When Satisfaction was written, did you guys have any hint at all that it would be the kind of powerful song it uh, turned into? Did it feel more exciting? No, not truthfully, no. Uh, in fact, uh, we'd written it and uh, we hadn't bothered to record it. And uh, we got to the point where we were going back. This is when you used to record an album in 10 days. And, and we needed an extra track. And so Mick and I looked at each other. We, uh, we'd had it together for a few weeks, and uh, said, "Oh well, let's." You know, in, in other words, we, we really thought it was filler. You know, we had to have another track. And so, oh, do you think this is good enough? And we laid it down. It started to sound more interesting as we put it down. But at the same time, when I was told a few days later that that was going to be the next single, that's what everybody thought. Was good, should be because we went back on the road, you know. But that was the message we got from the record company and from Andrew, Orham. and that was I said, no way. That was my mind. Was, uh, this was just the track we threw in. That we hardly got a chance to work on. We just flung it in, just like, but that's the way things happen. You know? mm. So it, you know, now I love it, of course. You know? Especially when I heard Otis Redding's version. Actually, that was a, for me a real sort of from the man. When Satisfaction was written, did you even have a hint of, of what a huge song it would be? Yeah, I knew it was a big hit. That's interesting, because Keith said he thought it was a filler, but you knew it was a big hit. Yeah. What did you hear in that? I mean, that song packs the punch now that it did 25 years ago. Well, you could just hear it. I mean, just can either hear a hit or not. or not. I mean, you obviously make mistakes over a long period of time, but you normally, I normally get them right. Hopefully. Sometimes there aren't any, so <laughs> bloody ten songs. So which one's the hit? There are none of them are. Just to pick the one that's the nearest thing. But sometimes you just know, you know.